Welcome back, guys. Today, I got a question for Kirby. And the question is, if you had to live off the income from only one of these asset classes, would it be stocks or real estate? All right. Say that one more time. Maybe I worded that weird. The if you if, So you obviously, you invest in stocks and real estate. But if you could only have one and live off of that income, would it be from real estate or stocks? That's a, that's a great question. That's a and great let's say question. let's say you could even let's say with everything you have now too, all the equity you have, you could cash one out and transfer the funds to the other. So like if you prefer real estate, you could take all you have in stocks and move it to real estate, or you could take all your real estate, and move it all the funds just. But would it be the income from stocks or income from real estate? Uh, it. I mean, I say it's a great question, but it's the easy answer. It's real estate easily. And the reason why I say that, and I'm thinking about survivability, being able to live. I can have a million dollar portfolio. And then, of course, I can you know buy a house with a million dollar portfolio in stocks. But I can't. But once I sell the stocks and I buy a house to live in, then I have minus whatever the living cost is. But so... If I could take that million dollars, and let's say I only had million dollars in the stock market again, knowing what I knew now, because understand, one time I at one time I was only a stock guy. I didn't believe in real estate at all. I only believed in a house is somewhere you live to survive in, pay the house cash, just get it out of my get it out of my way. But then as I grew and understood real estate, I understand the different avenues and different ways that you can make things happen with it. So with that, the answer is easy for me because. Let's just say I took all the funds I had and I just had just enough money to buy a duplex. If I have a duplex, then I always have a place to live. Even if I don't live there now, I always have a place to live. I mean, it's simply if some family going to have to suffer or once a tenant move out, I just move the family in there if times get hard. And then we have enough money generating from the other unit to pay the mortgage and utilities and things like that. But hands down it would be it would be real estate if it's just about survivability and live um i'll just leave it right there but i have more to it but i'll leave it right there what's your answer on that okay no i um i would agree i would say real estate too i think it's interesting because i don't want to say stocks are too volatile or they're too aggressive but i think there's more stability in real estate and more tax benefits and you have more control over real estate than you do over stocks um yes. i agree i think both could be achievable i mean i think with the knowledge you have with the knowledge i have we could live off of stocks with sufficient capital in the stock market but i think real estate would be the easiest avenue to go and i like your point too like you said if things get hard you have x amount of properties you just pick one where you need to live if you lose your home or whatever so yeah i agree with that yeah but let's not get it twisted i'm not i'm not giving stock market for nothing and the reason why is because yeah real estate is if i just had to choose one it would be real estate if I just had to put all my assets in one basket, real estate or stocks, and I'm not saying this as a diversification thing at all. Hell no. But it is easier for me to raise capital in the stock market to pay for real estate than waiting to collect the rents and then, you know, minus maintenance, minus vacancies, minus property management, all that to collaborate, to get enough money to buy another property. For me, it's easier to use the funds from real estate to put it in the stock market to grow the capital to make it. Because in the stock market, I can make money if the stock price is going up or if the stock price is going down. And I can grow that allocation to put those funds to another real estate deal faster than me just sitting here waiting on real estate, waiting on real estate, waiting on rents to build up, waiting on rents to build up to be able to buy another one. So that's the aspect of it but if i just had to choose one and it's the survivability of my family then yes it will be real estate 
Okay. Yeah, I agree. Let us know what you would do in the comment section down below. Share this video, subscribe. We will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.